In the last video, I demonstrated how you could take a voxel sculpt and export out a normal map with a mesh at the same time. So here's that mesh. I just want to show it here very quickly. So it's very low poly. I manually retopologized it. So it looks pretty good. But what if you don't want to manually retopologize? What if you want to do something very quick? And you don't plan on animating it. What does it matter, really? You know, it doesn't have to be manually retopologized in that case. Well, there is that option as well. well. Let's bounce back over to our voxel tab here. And here's our voxel sculpt that we did. That we used to generate the normal map and so on. Over here on the vox tree, I showed you that you can quadrangulate. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do for per pixel painting again because we, we want to try and keep this low poly. Now, last time we skipped this quadrangulation uh, portion, so we're not going to be skipping it this time. I've already gone ahead and ran a few tests. So I know that about four to five million polygons is what I want. Let's go ahead and go with four. Four million polygons should do it. And the smoothing steps, let's go with about 10. One thing that we should pay attention to here, let's move this out of the way. Right now we don't have symmetry on, so if we keep symmetry turned off, the quadrangulation will not respect symmetry, and the flow will just go, you know, willy-nilly all over the place, and it, it doesn't really respect symmetry on any axis, unless you turn it on. So let's hit S. Oh, actually, we're going to have to cancel out. Let's hit, oh, oh, cancel, yes, yes, that's fine. Oops. All right, so bounce back over. Let's go ahead and hit S and turn on symmetry across the X axis. And we can see that it's perfectly symmetrical here, across X. All right, let's make sure it's good. Yes, yes, okay. Let's do that again. Right click on that volume. Quadrangulate for per pixel painting again. So we still have our settings as last time. When we hit OK, it's going to take a few minutes to complete. So I'll probably pause the video. So let's hit OK. And yes, yeah, so I'll pause so you for can a moment. See here we have and the same prompt right as last time. And the mesh, it looks pretty decent. The auto quadrangulation isn't perfect. You can see along the center that there are some uh, ingons. And then, oh, let's see, right around the neck, looks like there's some other stuff going on there. Uh, back the head, too. But overall, auto quadrangulation is something that you would want to do on um, objects you wouldn't be animating. Anyway, so we're going to keep pretty much these same settings here. We're just going to go with the default. We're not going to actually going to be exporting this out to an external program at the moment. So let's hit OK. All right, and it's packing at the moment. Might take a minute here. Bear with me. All right, so it's all done. And you can see the mesh here. It's auto quadrangulated. We didn't have to do anything at all. And yeah, look around the neck. It seems to have got a little haywire there. There's a lot of ingons, but no matter. You know, you can fix those as well in the retopology tab. So if you want to export out this mesh, you would do it the exact same way as last time. Just go up to File, Export Model, save it. From here, to export our maps is identical to the uh, previous video we did for manual retopologization.